Welcome back to my channel. My name is April Hardiman and if this is your first time here, I do videos on tips, tutorials, and book reviews and just products and such all related to the equine industry. It's been a while since I've done some tutorials, but um, those will be coming out soon. I'm making a lot more videos and I am now in Georgia. I'm in Georgia for um, three months, well, two more months. I've been here for about a month now and um, I just wanted to share another book review I have. Um, I've actually met this author in person now that I've been to the American Horse Publications Conference. Um, she is super nice and uh, I've interacted with her a lot on social media and I'm super excited to share my book review with you. And there's also a giveaway so make sure you stay to the end to find out more information about that. So we have the book In the Reins by Carly Cade. Um, I first came across this book I because I manage um, Horses in the Morning's podcast, or not their podcast, but their Instagram, um, Horses, Horse Radio Network. Um, and I was going through some of the older posts and seeing that they were tagged in some things. And I believe they had interviewed um, Carly Cade on... Uh, on one of their shows so uh, I was like or she had tagged them in one of their images and I just kind of went and was looking and then I found this book and I was like whoa um, this was also when I was kind of coming across um, some other um, self-published authors on Instagram um, and one thing that's great about horse people is that we love horses and we love reading about horses so like we love everything about horses like our life has to revolve around horses um so i didn't even hesitate to get this book um and what was even um really nice about meeting carly um when i met her in person at the conference um she uh got this book cowboy away and this is the second book in the series and she just um, released her third one this past month, um, Chopin Promise. So um, you'll definitely want to check these books out for sure. So let's get started. Uh, so In the Reins, it's about um, a gal named Devin or Devin Brooke, and she's a city person, um, and she's with this guy that they just don't feel a spark or whatnot, and she ends up just leaving. Like that's how the book starts. Like she's just leaving this guy that. Um, it's kind of obvious that he must have maybe cheated or had an interest in someone else and she's just like you know what there's never been spark there's never you know why are we even together so and they were engaged but she just up and left and she moved to the country um, and she's always uh, loved horses and horses had always been calling to her and you know she's like you know what I need to I'm gonna get a horse and she ends up getting this paint horse um, named Faith she hasn't been around horses in forever so um but she ends up having to look for a barn um and she finds out about this one facility um and that they don't really take too many people but you know call them up and see what they think like you might be a good fit so she calls up the lady named sophie and she tell you know says come on by and um you know eventually she does move her horse faith there and she said um it's kind of keep to yourself everyone keeps to themselves um so i believe it might have been even the first day she sees this guy working with his horse and his name is mckinnon and she's just like mind your p's and q's like don't mess with him like just kind of keep your distance from him um but of course this has to be like an attractive cowboy like hello he's a cowboy like what kind of you know, gal, a horse rider is not gonna fall for a cute little cowboy. Um, so she goes on um, and just goes to the barn every day and she rides at the barn because um, she's a rider. And um, so he tries to, uh, I guess, interact with her a little bit and sees that she's riding and such, but she's trying to keep her distance even though she can feel the heat. Like, you know, like even the first connections, it just, she feels like this. Um, intense intensity when she's always kind of like near him uh, and just watching him work with horses is just so powerful um, so she continues to work with Faith and then he would go away for a while and then come back like you never knew how long he would be gone and um, 
he would just all of a sudden come back. Um, so one of the times he came back, he brought a, a, a really nice quarter horse stallion home. And he's like, this is the horse that's going to do it. This is the horse that is going to be the big guy and win the big championship. Um, and there's always like this kind of awkwardness, like um, when something gets brought up, like in that Devin is kind of left out of like when something gets brought up about something in the past, like this hasn't been like this since that, or she's like, I don't understand what's going on. And everyone says it's just not my story to tell. So she never knows what is the hidden secret. Through this book, she just, um, Carly's really great at having super great adjectives um, that really like make you feel like you're in the area or like you can feel the intensity between the two and you're like really craving that Devin and McKinnon like really get to know each other or they get close or like sometimes um, Devin has these dreams of them together or doing something and you're like oh you're reading it on and reading it on and you're like wow how did we just jump to this and then she surprises you and it's like a dream you're like dang it I thought that was them being together and you're just so excited <laughs> she has this other cowboy at the barn JD he's much younger but he's kind of involved with everything too and kind of um gets her into these situations that make it a little awkward sometimes so it's just <laughs> It just reminded me a lot of kind of my college years in a way. I mean, I didn't really fall for like a cowboy, um, but I had a lot of horse friends and some were guy friends and I was always at the barn. And um, when we lived in Washington, I would go um, line dancing because um, at some of these shows, they go out to the bar afterwards. And it was just cool to kind of have that feeling again. It took me a little bit to a while to read this book with having my daughter and we were traveling to Georgia from Germany. Um, but I, I just kept, it kept drawing me back. Um, and definitely in the last few chapters, I just flew through because I was like, what's happening in between these two? What's going to happen? What is this awkward story that's between everybody? Um, yeah. And so I really can't wait to jump into Cowboy Away. Um, because Carly, um, was talking about how this was her first book and, um, you know, it's just a growing pain. Like you just grow from your first book to your second book and onto your third. So I'm definitely excited to jump into Cowboy Away. Once I get Cowboy Away done, um, I'm going to jump into Show Pen Promise. So now that we've done the book review and you kind of listened into what it's all about, make sure you um, enter into the giveaway. And the giveaway will be... Um, a book the first book of in the reigns of carly cade's books for her book series um so if you are interested in the book then i will be sending that out um i also will be having um <clears throat> all her information below for the book and where you can purchase the book um and of course all of carly cade's information because you definitely want to check out these books one if you're horse crazy you're gonna love them i mean there's there's a horse mentioned on every page um too if you like romance novels it'll be great um and i just love supporting other equestrians i love supporting small businesses i love supporting authors i love supporting anybody that really has to do with the equine industry um so if you like doing that as well then make sure you check out this book um so for the giveaway details um so there's gonna be two options or two ways to enter into this giveaway and you can enter in both ways so the first one is if you leave a comment below and let me know um is your significant other in two horses um ha has he or she ridden horses with you and if you don't have a significant other currently do you wish that when you find that other person that they are into horses and that they ride horses or even if they just come to the barn and hang out with you let me know in the comments below make sure you hit that subscribe button so that's one way to enter and the second way is if you go to instagram and you follow carly cade and i believe it's at carly cade uh, creative and i'll make sure it's in the description below and if you follow make it rain on instagram 
Um, that'll be a little tip of what's coming up to next of what's going on with my business. But if you follow Curly Creative, Creative and Make It Rain on Instagram and um, leave a comment in the um, photo, I'll have the um, this video up there and you can leave a comment in that and you can be entered into it as well. So let me go over those two options again. So the first option is you're going to leave a comment below this video on YouTube and let me know um, about your significant other, if they ride horses or not. And then the second way is to follow Carly Cade and make it rain on Instagram and leave a comment below this video. So those are two options and I will be selecting the winner at the end of the month. So June 30th, um, it will be announced. If you want to get the book, make sure you enter the giveaway. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because more book reviews are coming, more tutorials are coming, more, lots of things are coming up. Like I have it all planned. I still gotta get that Iceland video out and it'll be coming sooner than later. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you'll have a great day. Thanks for watching.